What does a wildlife biologist do? Just from the name, you can tell that a wildlife biologist studies biology in the wild. Very broad, right? Let's narrow it down a little bit. Wildlife biologists fulfill critical roles in research on the biology, habitat use, and behaviors of animal species. These researchers can operate at many levels, ranging from state or tribal game and fish departments to federal agencies such as the U.S. Forest Service, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and the Army National Guard. When many think about wildlife biologists, they imagine people trapping animals, rescuing hurt individuals, or tagging for future identification. Although these are activities that some biologists do, there's so much more. Not only do they focus on wildlife, but also the animal's habitats and resources. For instance, wildlife biologists monitor pronghorn in Coconino National Forest in northern Arizona. Pronghorn can travel miles within their home range, but their movement can be restricted by fences that mark the boundaries of land within the forest. A wildlife biologist would have the task of finding the most suitable location that pronghorn would use in order to modify the fence for easy passage of pronghorn. While this field does focus on wildlife and their needs, there is also an emphasis on wildlife-human relationships. Sometimes interaction between humans and wildlife can lead to stresses, injury, or even death for either party. Studies on human-wildlife interactions include that of mountain lions on the south rim of the Grand Canyon in Arizona, or deer crossing roads and causing car accidents. Mountain lions in Grand Canyon National Park have been studied extensively. Wildlife biologists have tracked a number of mountain lions on the south rim, the park's most human populated area. The task of the biologist was to analyze movements of mountain lions near Grand Canyon Village to see if there was any correlation to human movements and traffic. They found that most mountain lions remained on the rim, rarely venturing into the inner canyon. They also found that mountain lions avoided areas where humans often travel, Therefore, risk of human-lion encounters is relatively low. Wildlife biologists with Arizona Game and Fish Department attach GPS collars to mule deer to track their movements and better understand the migration patterns of the species. This particular collar transmits data every three hours. These data will inform future construction projects to reduce the likelihood of wildlife vehicle collisions and to address the issue of habitat fragmentation. Wildlife biologists are dedicated to promoting better and safer interactions between humans and wildlife. They can easily be considered the bridge between the two worlds, whether it's through monitoring, research, creating corridors, counting populations, or other actions, wildlife biologists are dedicated to keeping wildlife and their habitat safe in this human world.